everybody, Hoodie Cobra Commander 788 here, and this is just a quick look at the 1992 Headhunters. This figure was an army builder, and it was part of the DEF, or Drug Elimination Force, subline in G.I. Joe. These guys were the bodyguards of Headman, the drug dealer enemy of G.I. Joe's DEF. Now, I posted a picture of Headman on Facebook and Twitter not long ago, and that figure is pretty crazy looking. But whatever you think of Headman and the rest of the DEF, F subline, this figure certainly is intriguing. It's got a lot of really interesting aspects to it, and of course, that black looks great. I'm still somewhat undecided on how much I like this figure, but it certainly does have a lot of interesting aspects to it. It's got this kind of brown shoulder pad. The backpack is also very interesting. It has a holster uh, that holsters his little shotgun here, um, and the shotgun itself is not a bad accessory, too. Uh, looks pretty cool. Then he comes with this thing, this big purple uh, rocket launcher that has a spring-loaded missile that's kind of football shaped, this unusual little missile here. This thing is huge and the figure can't actually hold it without toppling over. Uh, it also had a feature where it would light up when you fire it, but the batteries are dead on this one. I'll have to replace the batteries. There was a lot of silliness in the DEF subline, but I gotta say, these guys could have been used to good effect elsewhere. I mean, just, I mean, look at this. He has spurs on his boots. Why does he have spurs? I have no idea. But just little things like that are very intriguing. This figure will eventually get a full review, but I'd kind of like to review Headman first. And I can tell you I'm not going to get to Headman until at least uh, early next year. Uh, so it'll take a little while to get to this figure for a full review. But I'm looking forward to it. I definitely want to take a closer look at this one. And that was just a quick look at the Headhunters. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you tune in on Sunday for a full vintage G.I. Joe toy review. I've got a new review coming up this Sunday, then I'm taking a week off. I've got more after that, though, so I hope to see you then. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.